what is going on guys welcome to your 31st physics video and in this video I want to talk to you guys about gravity G R A V I T Y now gravity in case you haven't heard of it before is that little thing that keeps you on the ground in the planets orbiting around the Sun so it's actually pretty important now Isaac Newton and my guess is he was a dude that looked a little bit like this he came up with the first reasoning of how gravity works now he made a big long law and I guess I might as well read it to you guys so people don't yell at me his law goes something like this every object in the universe attracts every other object in the universe with a force proportional to the objects masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers you got that can you remember that well I can either so hopefully or excuse me thankfully he came up with a formula to represent the force or attraction of gravity between two objects he says that the force or attraction of gravity is equal to the mass of object one multiplied by the mass of object two and I guess I probably don't need to do that mass of object two all over the distance from their centers squared now I want to emphasize centers because it's very important say you were trying to find the attraction or force of gravity between the earth and the sun now typically whenever you measure the distance between two things you measure it like this point A to point B but whenever you're figuring out gravity that's not the case what you need to do is you need to figure out the distance between their centers so the ruler would go from there to there if you had a ruler that big so remember that is how you uh, calculate the distance from their centers moving on to the next topic which is this basically the weird thing Newton is saying is that gravity exists between any two objects with a mass so he's pretty much saying that every object on earth with a, a mass is attracted to you are you telling me that this meatball sitting in my room right now it is attracted to me are you also telling me that my computer is like sucking into me right now like me and the earth are you also telling me more importantly and probably the most important thing of all that the cute girl that was always in my science class and she's like oh Bucky you're kinda of weird secretly and noticeably she is attracted to me thanks to Newton's law well even though she won't admit it then yes she is still attracted to you according to the law of physics now the reason that you don't notice objects and you don't feel their attraction is because compared to the universe you are almost nothing at all you are so you have such a little mass that there is basically no attraction at all even though there is Mm, got like a freaking cat hair in my mouth even though pff, oh there it is that's disgusting <laughs> anyways back on track even though there is indeed a small attraction between you and every other object it's so unnoticeable whenever you compare it to you and the mass of the earth why is that because of course whenever you're dealing with gravity mass is a factor and the bigger things have a stronger attraction so that is why the mass of the objects is so important so important when calculating the force of gravity but even more important is the distance between the two objects and let me show you guys why that's the case whenever distance is quadrupled for example say you uh, calculated something and it had a mass of one combined mass whenever you multiplied it and also a distance of one we'll keep things simple well that would mean that the gravity equals one and I know that these are you know kind of fake numbers but the gravity will say is equal to one well say we had the same two objects however now the distance is quadrupled so this is four well what we need to do is the formula for gravity is distance squared so when distance is quadrupled the force of gravity would actually be one sixteenth because four squared is sixteen so that is how important gravity is or excuse me distance is when calculating gravity now check this out say that I weigh a hundred and fifty pounds now I'm chilling here right here standing on earth so let's go ahead and figure out the force of gravity well the center of the earth from the surface of the earth we'll say it's a nice even let me draw my arrow four thousand miles so right now 
When I'm standing on the surface of the earth, I weigh 150 pounds. Why? That's how hard gravity is pulling on me. Now say over here, I'll draw another earth. However, on this earth, I am twice the distance away from the center. So instead of 4,000 miles, I am now 8,000 miles away from the center of the earth. So according to Newton's law, instead of weighing 150 pounds like I did right here, we say that, okay, my mass is the same, so we can keep that at a constant one. However, my distance from the center has doubled. So we'll put that two squared. So I would now have an attraction of one fourth as much as the original. So when I double my distance away from the center, I better label this, center of the earth, I don't weigh 150 pounds like I did on the surface. I weigh 37.5 pounds. So that is basically the formula for gravity and also that is why the masses of both the objects as well as the distance are extremely important. So you know how I said that acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared? Well that's the case near the surface of the earth. However up here when you get further away from the earth the acceleration or the force or pull of gravity on any object is smaller. So just remember that the force or attraction of gravity on any object is going to be less and less or in other words weaker the farther away you get from that object. So hopefully you understand a little bit more about gravity now and we're going to be using these formulas to apply them to not only earthly objects but objects such as planets, stars, all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.